Hey everybody, how y'all doing? What's up? Okay, hold on. Let me get this light right quick. And I don't look so dark. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. Okay, all right. Hey, what y'all up to? All right, people. How y'all doing? I just want to come in and have this little talk with you all. And It, it it is a topic that's dear to my heart. I give y'all some time to come in. I I don't. Oh, I just want to give y'all time to come in. Okay. It's called Let's Talk Sunday. Let's talk. Let's have let's have a conversation, people. Let's 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 get the get the nitty gritty going here. Okay. So, um, I'm hoping I reach enough people. Or oh, it's twelve. It's like twelve, twelve, uh, twelve twenty. And I know I'm kind of late. <laughs> and y'all all understand how it is when, um, I say that you get an urge you want to eat something, right? And today I had an urge for some McDonald's. Okay. Haven't had McDonald's in a minute. Okay. And I had taste for some fresh fresh cucumbers and I had to go find my yarn for my arts and craft, my 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 things that um things I, the next basket I'm making, okay? So my thing is is that I had to go out and get these things because it was very important to me. After I finished my last broadcast. I want some. I want some. Some. I wanted some cucumbers, so I went and got that. Um, I went and got my yarn and yarn and for my next project, which is an AKA basket. If y'all don't know, AKA basket. Yes, yeah, so I'm making an AKA basket. That's the next. Uh, that's the next basket I'm making. Um and um and I got a call yesterday. I want to get down to this. I, I you know, I know y'all. I don't I know y'all probably got other things to do, okay? But that's why I'm kind of late because I wanted to really eat and I want some McDonald's, so I went to the store and got it, okay? Um, this is a topic that I have dear in my heart, and the topic is depression and why do you want to commit suicide? I know it's a topic us black folks really we never really dealt with per se but in my family I have okay my family I have I'm gonna speak for mine I can't speak for nobody else okay so my thing is is that when we feel something is wrong with us we feel like we need help or that we need a little guidance and things of that nature why do we not seek it? Why do we not seek it? Seeking help does not mean that we are weak. Seeking treatment to go see a psychologist, a psych, psych, psychotherapist, seeing a so, psychologist, a therapist. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with going to see a therapist. They almost like life coaches. Okay? I'm up a river river. Almost. Not gonna not gonna put them in the same basket. They do quite a little thing a little different, but life coaching. Uh, almost like life coach. Go see a therapist. Go and see a psychologist. You, you basically talk to the person and talk about the things that are on your mind. And they they try to guide you in the right way to do to um to manifest or help you move forward instead of being stuck. And they help you think or through a process of how do I get through this or how how do I get through this situation or how do I go to the next level? Or I'm going to the next level and I don't know how to really handle that. Okay, but my thing is 
I'll give you a story. I'll give you a story. I'll give you a story. When I was younger, I say I was like a teen, preteen, preteen, you know. And I always give you these, I always give these stories, which mean um, they are true and factual, okay? They have stories about my life. And I want to help somebody else with my story, with, with something I have experienced. So, when I was young, I dealt with depression because my depression led to feeling like my parents didn't want me or feeling that um, I wasn't wanted or, or thought of because both my parents decided to do whatever they wanted to do. And they left me with my father's mother, my grandmother, on my father's side. Okay? I don't know how many of y'all heard the story. But my thing is, that that not uh, feeling unwanted gave me a lot of feeling not loved, feeling not cared for. Okay, even though I had my grandmother there, it's nothing like your parents. Okay, you want your parents. So the thing is, is that I dealt with that for a long time in my growing up, feeling like I wasn't wanted. Okay, so. The thing was, I got into other people. I, I started looking into other people. Started looking to other people for comfort. I started to go to other people that were, I thought that could help me, that I thought, but majority of the time, I was being taken advantage of. Okay? So, my thing is, so when I was 16, I had this tutor. And the tutor, was older than me. Okay? The thing was that he started taking interest, okay? And we started having relations. Okay? And I thought having relations with this person meant we together, we're going to be together. And I equivalated the sex part with being in a relationship with somebody. Okay? That's why I got that confused. And my thing was, okay, so when I, something happened. Some happened. Some uh, no. He finally told me we would never be together, and no, I don't see you that way, and no, we can't never be together because the age difference, okay? And because you know, it, you know, other little factors played into that, okay? So I decided to take me a whole bunch of aspirin, okay? I decided to take me a whole bunch of aspirin. And I was like, yeah, okay, all right, go ahead and do this, get over with, because don't nobody want me, because I didn't like, I don't, I don't like rejection. I didn't like rejection. That was my whole process thing. I did not like rejection. Okay. So when I got rejected, that really hurt me. Rejection, rejection, you know, from people, because that starts with you. It started with my parents. And then as I look at it, 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 it manifested in the other people rejecting me because. Okay. And I decided to take these pills, right? And um my grandma came in the room. I just took the whole thing of aspirin. They were some baby aspirin, okay? So um she said, What's wrong with you? Da, 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 da. And I just I ain't tell her nothing, nothing, nothing like nothing like that, right? So my thing was Okay, my parents don't want me. This dude don't want me. Why am I? Why? Why am I even here? That's what was in the concept of the back of my head. Why am I even here? Why am I even being bothered with being here? And seems like don't nobody want me. That was my main concern because rejection is a mother freaker. Okay, mother freaker it is. Reject people do not like to be. Some people don't like to be rejected, but I'm going to give you another scenario with that later on. I'm going to give you that. Say, so, and that kind of, you know, okay, so get my grandma woke me up, and then she tried to wake me up, and then the thing was, okay, all right, uh, my lady the next day, she tried to get me off of school, and I couldn't, I ain't get up. She like, what's wrong, Sheree? What up? You know, just that another thing. And I don't even remember how I got to the hospital, okay? Okay, so my thing is, I woke up in the hospital, and guess who I see sitting there side of the bed? 
the same person that rejected me. Why well, I'm like, why are you here? Why what do what do you want? That kind of you know, that, that kind of insight into your mind concept of this person rejected you and now they want to sit beside your bed, like, dude, why? Really? Like, ain't you done enough? Ain't, ain't haven't you caused me enough pain? Now you want to sit here like you freaking really care. Okay? That's the way what was coming in my what thinking in my head, right? Thinking in my head. And in my in in that in, in that it was like I really told him how I felt. And he said, No, you, you know, we never go be together. Da, da, da. So they had okay, so after the guy left, my grandparents came in the room. My uh we me and the guy talked. We finalized that. Okay, all right, cool, bye. All right, you know. I just I closed that off in my mind. Okay, I, I shut it off. I compartmentalized that in my head, okay, as a way of saying, all right, well, you know, bad it. You know, like you hurt me, so I'll, you know, I, you know, what do I, what do I need? You, you know, what do I want to bother with you for? Now you, you said you don't want me. Da 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 da. So my grandparents came in the room after that, and the thing was, was my grandparents? They, I don't, I don't, I don't know how they saw that. I don't know how they saw saw that situation. Okay, so the doctor says, okay, I'm going to give you this valuation. We're going to give you this valuation. And my thing is, is that if you need to see somebody, you need to see somebody. Okay, I went to the therapist that time and didn't go to nobody else. And I talked to the doctor. The doctor talked to my grandparents and sent me home. Okay. But you have to see the signs of a person with depression. They sleep too much. They might eat a little bit too much. They have mood swing. Certain things cause depression. Death causes depression. Death causes grief, causes depression. Uh, having a new baby causes uh, produces postpartum depression. Um, it's so many things that can produce depression. We, it's so many things. I will give another episode about what those things are. Okay. Um, and the thing is, is sometimes those things lead you to wanting to commit suicide. Okay. Like last year. Okay. Last year, I'm going to just give you this scenario. Last year. I had a nervous breakdown because I was trying to handle business, trying to be in the wrong relationship with the wrong person, um, doing a whole lot of stuff that I wasn't supposed to be doing. I had kind of relapsed. I relapsed a little bit, relapsed with certain things, people, places, and things. And that kind of sent me into a tizzy. Then I, you know, then financial stuff. And then I just felt overwhelmed. So I just broke down one day and went to, after I left my job for my patient, and went straight to the hospital. Okay, and I've been seeing a the therapist ever since. Because sometimes our minds have so much things going on in our heads, we just can't fathom it all. We can't fathom, we can't fathom it all sometimes. And sometimes when you're thinking you're trying to deal with a lot of things that you're dealing with. When you're dealing with a lot of things that you're dealing with, um, it's good to talk to somebody, let it out. Let let these things out. Talk to my family member or anybody, somebody, anybody that lets them because sometimes we have to vent. Sometimes we have to vent because if we hold that stuff on the inside, we'll turn around and bust our own brains out. Okay. I'm telling you something I know. Certain things we need to discuss with people and, and just just to talk about them, to free our minds, to free our souls, to free our spirits. And the thing is, we can't just put it in a box and put it over here on the shelf. Put it over here on the shelf, you know, put it over here on the shelf. And then sometimes we it turn around and just put it over there. Okay, I'm gonna put that over there. That happened to me. That that happened to me. This happened to me. Or, or 
these things, these, these, these three things happen to me. And then, and then if we put them in a box and we put them over there, sometimes that's good and sometimes that's bad. Sometimes that's good, sometimes that's bad. It's, it's not, it's, let me tell you something. Sometimes we do just do not want to. We want to act like everything is all right here. We want to act like everything is all right. We got this mirror going on. And, hey, I'm good. Hey, how you doing? You know, what's up? I'm fine. And then we're going through our day, you know, and we got all this stuff in the back of our heads and we think about when we get home. We put that mask on in front of the folks. I'd rather wear my mask at home instead of front of people. And that's what I've I've learned with my I've learned with my therapist. If I'm feeling this way, feel that way. If I don't feel like being around people, I don't feel like being around people. If I don't if I wanna if I want to just sit and meditate and concentrate and just just you know, just quiet for a minute, she says, that's my choice. My therapist has opened my eyes to a lot of stuff. I tell you, sometimes you can get the, get the most amazing therapist. You can get them, and they will talk, and we will talk, and we talk. Now, me and my therapist, we talk like we best friends. You know, should we talk like we best friends? We don't have no, you know, we don't we don't sit and we, oh, you know, like it, it feel like a routine. No, I, I no, we talk like we girlfriends. Me and my therapist, you know, I don't know how you do your therapist, but I got a female therapist, I, you know, and I think female therapists are for females and male therapists are for males because sometimes, you know, us women don't quite understand men quite yet and the men don't understand the women quite yet. That's why I think that is. Anyway, that's my opinion. Sorry. My thing is if you're feeling depression and you feel like you want to commit suicide, right? Go see somebody. Don't sit. Go hang yourself. Go take a bunch of pills. Go slit your wrists. Shoot your brains out. Don't don't do none of that. Please don't do none of that because then you got family members that are looking at you and then they're going to be asking the question, why? Why do you want to commit suicide? Why? They're going to ask this question. Why did that person do that? I'm like, really? Like, what possessed them to do that? I, I want to know. I want to talk about this. I'm, I'm going to tell you why this subject is so, so, pre- so, so important to me. Because I just had, okay, I got a half sister, half sister. Me and her, I don't treat her like half. Me and her hoes. I don't treat none of my half sisters and brothers like halves. I treat them like they, they, we family. We, I don't care if you came from the same mama, same daddy, whatever, 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 whatever. Okay, we still family, okay? Um, that's another topic for another day. And my thing is, my sister in Detroit said her nephew committed suicide yesterday. I don't know if he hung himself. I don't know if he, you know, I don't know if he took pills. I don't know if he shot his brains. I don't, I don't know what they just said. He committed suicide. And to me, that's like, wow. I know how a brother feel. Sometimes I get like that. Sometimes I get like, I guess I still get like that. Why am I here? Why does it matter? What is my purpose in my lifetime? Why is God got me here? What is it? The, and then I had to, then God, then God, God will speak to me and say, look, I got something else for you to do. It ain't it. Look, let me tell you. I kept trying to figure out. I was trying, I was trying to figure this out. And about my business, about what's going on in my business, me, you know, not really having this income like I want and all this. God said, everything ain't done on your time, it's done on my time. But you got to put the work in. So, you know, put the work in. And there's been a couple times where I wanted to, you know, this is the thing. We cannot give up on life. We can't just walk away. I used to do that all the time. Just like with stuff, like, I don't feel like doing that. I'll, my bad, I'll just walk away from it, you know. And I don't feel like, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to fuck, fuck it, you know. And the thing is, we can never solve our problems that way. 
We can never solve our problems that way, walking away from everything that we start, we don't finish. It ain't going to work. Okay. Like I said, this issue is, 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 is very important to me because everybody needs somebody to talk to. So, I'm putting this out there that if you need someone to talk to about your daily living, about your life, about your whatever it may be, you can come to me. Okay? I'm putting it out there. And sometimes we it don't it, it ain't it ain't about finding out no, but nobody's business. That ain't that ain't the person purpose of why I'm putting this out there. I'm putting this out there to save somebody else's life. See, God put me on this earth to do something else. And what it is is help other people just to, to keep. When I encourage other people, it encourages me. It gives me encouragement. It fills me up. It makes me happy. When I see somebody else happy, when I see somebody else prospering, when I see somebody else, I'm not sitting over here playing, hey, no, nah, she got all this money. I had that. Look, that's a waste. That's a devil's work. I'm here to help somebody else that needs help. Okay? So if you need help, if you need somebody to talk to, I'm here for you. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here because you don't know. Sometimes you can talk to the right person and give you the right word, and you and you like, right. you know, you got you you got to hear a word from. Sometimes it's God. Sometimes God can send you people that speak that'll speak. He'll speak through the person to you. That's how God does. He'll speak to a person to speak to you. You never know how you're going to get it. You know, sometimes God speaks to us directly. He ain't trying to get no media. He don't need a media. He really don't. But um, the thing is, we all need somebody to listen. We all need somebody to talk to. We all need somebody to, we all need somebody. We can't be on this earth by ourselves and thinking we can do everything by ourselves. No, we cannot. We can't. Okay. We can't do that, okay? So, I just want to say, I want to thank you for coming in. Let's talk Sunday. All right, babies. This is my gift to you for Let's Talk Sunday coming in to any one of my broadcasts, okay? I'm giving away to a lucky viewer. A luck of you. Now, you got to come to the program to win. You got to come in the program to win. Okay? You know, you got to come to the program and stay in the program. You can't come in, pop in, okay, I, I put, no, it ain't working like that. No, 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 no. In order to win this CD, you got to come into my DM and tell me what my topic was for, for the question I asked. I'm going to ask y'all a question on a, I'm going to ask you a question. You come in the DM, you give me the answer. If you get the answer right, the first person that went that gives me the right answer wins this CD. That's how we're going to do this. I might ask you a question from what I talked about on Let's Talk Sunday. What did I talk about on uh, 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 Morning Word and Worship? What did I talk about? I'm giving away CDs. I'm giving them. I'm. I'm. Gi- I'm giving away one lucky viewer that watch my program. That watch the program. Hey, you. You can turn it on and you can walk away from it. I, I've done that myself, but anyway. But I'm still listening. And I could give you a question for that day, like on Mondays, like tomorrow Monday. I'm going to give you a question. What did I talk about? What was my topic? Say, say example, what was my topic for Let's Talk Sunday? What was my topic? And the first person that gets it right wins the CD. Okay? All right, I'm taking lucky viewers. I'm going to ask these questions. These questions are very important. These questions are very important. What did I, and then I might say, um, what book did I come out of for Morning Word and Worship? Okay? You got to come. You, hey, you got to come with the answers. It's a it's a contest. It's the first lucky viewer that answers the question. When I get this question, what did I what did I talk about on such and such and such? And the first person to get it right gets this CD. Okay, I will be giving away four CDs. That's four programs I have. 
Morning Word and Worship, Let's Talk Sunday, uh, Think About It Sunday, and Authors Excerpt Sunday, okay? I might ask you a question for Authors Excerpt Sunday. You know, uh, what, what you know, uh, it's contents. Listen, all you got to do is listen, listen. What was this? You know, listen, listen. It, I don't, you might have to even, you might have to even rewatch this because I might ask different questions from whatever, whatever, from my segment on Sundays. And the first lucky person that gets the answers right to my four questions, I'll give you four questions for four different episodes, and that's four people, so that's four giveaways, okay? Hello, listen, okay? I love y'all. Four questions from the four programs I do on Sunday, and I will give you four questions. You answer the first person that answers the, the four questions right. The first person, first person that answers these questions right wins this CD. My friend, Pastor Derek Tynes, We Shall Overcome CD, and I want to let y'all know this CD off the chain, okay? So... I want to say thank you for coming in my broadcast, and I love you, and I will talk to you next Sunday, and tomorrow is test question day, okay? First person, I might I might ask four questions, about four different segments I have, and the first four people to answer all the questions right, the person who answers the question right, wins the CD, okay? I love y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, babies. See y'all later.